so in this video we will be showing a table onto the object page so this is how our application currently looks like and we will click on here and this is our object page and uh, today we will be displaying a table here with uh, student academic details or result details okay so let's get started on this let's first see what are all things we have completed in our last video so we have created these couple of interface views for course gender and semester semester results and uh, then uh, after that we have also created a new data base table which is this one academic result table and uh, then some data elements we have created and some domains we have created okay so all of these things we will be using gradually but let's first try to display the table onto our object page so very first thing which we need to do is we need to create a okay so uh, before that this is our uh, interface view for academic result which we have created in our last video so very first thing which we need to do is we need to create a metadata extension for this academic result interface view so that it can be displayed onto the object page okay so let's create a metadata extension for academic result metadata extension for academic result next next and uh, annotate view and finish so let me give a pause and uh, write the annotations quickly because anyway these things we are not new for us we have already seen how to write and how to create those metadata extension in some of our last video tutorials so let me pause it and uh, complete this file okay so now we have created our uh, metadata extension file for academic result interface view so this is how it looks like we have some ui annotation on the header info and then uh, we also be showing a search field default search field searchable is equal to true and uh, then uh, this data will be displayed as an identification field right so for this we have added this packet okay and then the normal annotations uh, the identification annotation line item annotation and uh, searchable default true okay so we already know all of these from our previous video tutorials okay so this one is done now the next thing is we need to show the table on to the object page okay so the object page is getting displayed through the main page basically where the student information is getting displayed right so this is where the uh, student information is getting displayed and along with this we also need to show the tabular format where this academic result will be displayed so for that we need to add another facet here uh, or another property basically inside this facet only okay so let's add it put a comma and uh, start your brackets and put id okay let's copy this because most of the information would be same academic result 
then purpose would be standard only and type would be your uh, hash since we need to display table so we will take line item reference here and uh, the label would be again academic result okay and the position would be 20 since we have this on the 10 position and now the most important property is target element so our target element is academic result association okay which we have maintained in our okay let's first activate this and let me show you where we have maintained it so we have given a composition here with academic result so this is what the field will have all of the data and this is what we are using here as a target element okay so all of these things uh, we have already seen so if you haven't seen those videos please go through those videos and it will be helpful to you okay now this is done and uh, let's activate okay so this got activated so once this is done adding the annotations let's add uh, the behavior definition for adding the buttons onto the table okay so for that we will go to zi student 5000 this is our behavior definition which we already have and uh, here we will be adding some behaviors to our newly created table which will be displayed onto the object page so what what are all buttons we need onto that page so we will be having a create button and a delete button and uh, the update would be automatic so we will be having insert delete update all onto that table okay since uh, the table it will be displayed based on the association so there will not be a direct create method for that association or uh, for the academic result table okay so what rather than we will be doing is we will be using the association here to add the create button okay so through association that create button will be added to the table so for that what we need to write it write association and then which association you want to add a button to academic result this is our table where all of the data is available okay and then put a curly bracket and create semicolon and close so this is how we add the create button to associations okay so now what it is saying is a behavior must be defined for the target entity this one so this is what now we are going to do so we will be doing exactly same what we have done for this target entity okay so similarly since this we are using this so we need to define a behavior as well for the target entity of this okay so let's do a copy of this and go till to the end and right here define define behavior for ziar underscore 5000 entity and give an alias here which will be academic result okay and uh, then we will be having all of these things same so persistent table would be there lock master authorization and uh, we will be changing a small some of the things here so let's copy this from here 
to here okay so very first thing is we do not need any mapping and this mapping is anyway do not not no mandatory here if you remove this mapping as well that should work okay so 500 and then our uh, table name is what table we have created yesterday so it is zim so z c i m underscore r a p underscore a r underscore 5000 this is what the table is oh sorry table would be here so z c i m r a p a r underscore 5000 so this is the table and then uh, log dependent by underscore student so this this entity is dependent on to the main entity right so and uh, then authorization dependent since we even though we are not using any authorization but still let's add it dependent by and underscore student okay so e tag we are not using and now see this is saying create is not allowed here okay instead you can use activate or deactivate inside the zi student 500 using annotation so this is what we have done here okay so we will be removing this create from here and uh, then this is not needed here but which association we are using inside this so uh, we have seen in our last video that we have composition and association to parents right so here we are defining association with this so similarly vice versa we also need to define association with underscore student okay so this is another thing done and then uh, this is not needed here what are all the fields we want to display in uh, read only mode so read only and the field is our id field so our id field okay and then what other field is this is course description is the another field and let's remove it it is not needed and then another field which should be read only is semester description okay and uh, that's it so we have defined a new behavior definition if you have more tables you want to define then just keep adding the behavior definition one by one one after the another okay just like we have done this so this is done and uh, let's activate okay so this got activated properly and uh, so what are all we have done here we have defined the behavior definition now let's expose the entities okay so let's go here and uh, we will be exposing expose z i underscore a r underscore 5000 okay as academic result okay so once we have exposed it i think everything is done now let's try to run our application and now see here we have got uh, the association created automatically 
now double click on our main table click on go hmm target was not found student academic result table grid is not a valid id okay let's see what's going on here valid id so to here valid id Okay. Student. Okay, so we have a space here. ID should never have a space. Okay, so let's remove this space and let's see if it works after this or not. Otherwise, we need to do some more research on this. So refresh. Refresh this one. Double click and close on the previous ones click on go okay so now it got loaded so we were having a space in the id field now since we have added the table in the object page let's click on this and uh, let's see yeah so our table is got loaded properly and uh, we got two different tabs as well student and academic result and we got the create button and the delete button as well okay so for now we do not have any records here let's try to create one record okay so we got our object page here and uh, let's add the course computers Mm, what it is saying maximum of one character space okay so these are minor things which we will be checking in our upcoming videos so this is taking actually one character only there is nothing wrong in that so first semester and status is pass and uh, description is pass okay click on create okay so our our data is got created and here you go so you got your student id and your details here okay let's try the delete so delete yeah it is working fine and now go back click here and add a new record here for electronic semester semester five status pass description pass okay create now it got created go back go back and click here so now for this there is no academic details available okay and for this we have added one record so it is getting displayed over here so this is how we can add a table with the crude operation onto it using restful application programming model and uh, in our next video we will be doing some cleaning onto this and uh, what exactly we are going to do is we will be like we will be adding some so when you do an edit so we will be adding some f4 help here for semester for status and then we will also use the additional bindings so anyway all of these things we have already seen our previous videos but still we will be cleaning up this application but at least the main functionality is working here what we want to demonstrate okay so that's all for now in this video and uh, if you like the content please share and do subscribe to my channel thank you